Advocates Coalition for Development and Environment, ACCORD, has evidently made their mission of making public policies work for the people. ACCORD is a public policy research think tank uh, founded around 1999. And uh, we, are, we see ourselves as a regional institution. We work in Eastern and Southern African sub region but we are based in Kampala. And our core business is to do public policy research and generate uh, alternative policy ideas, making sure that policies that the government formulates work for the people to improve service delivery, to improve good governance in this country, uh, to, uh, to improve the governance of natural resources and the environment, to improve peace and security. This, through strategic objectives of policy research and analysis, outreach and advocacy, civic engagement, plus institutional capacity. Because we have been able to teach them that they need to hold their leaders accountable. And every time they ask, the leaders up their game because they know that citizens are going to ask. So there's been a lot of improved civic engagement from, um, from the citizens. Accord, which mainly thrives on research, has a strong team that handles varying research, dialogue and policy matters with extreme professionalism. This research has lifted Accord, the profile of Accord, to way above um, where it would have been, to another level. We have quite a number of research products published in international peer-reviewed platforms like journals and textbooks or edited book volumes. Um, this is no mean achievement. Uh, many times, many organizations have reports that are put on shelves, but our work is online, both on the Accord website, but also on uh, the African portal and be accessed. We don't have much power. That is based on the law we can't enforce. We don't have coercive power. Our strength is, to, is, is, is evidence based research. We are grounded in research, and over time, we have increased on our research productivity, our research pro, uh, uh, quality. And this work has been supported in a very big way by Think Tank Initiative. So, th th this has been really marvelous as far as we are concerned. Accord annually holds a high-level policy dialogue and budget to analyze released budgets to provide a platform for stakeholders on ways to improve public policies in various sectors, hence shaping budget transparency and accountability. We have been able to use ICT um, to promote dissemination of budget information, uh, but also uh, solicit for feedback from citizens on service delivery as well as the budgets. We have also been able to pilot and test an approach that assesses public expenditure governance that we think um, is very relevant for developing country contexts. Major milestones have been reached in the past and recently as a result of Accord's contribution and involvement towards policy development reforms and implementation through research and analysis. These include, among others, Accord's advocacy on the Biotechnology Bill. Uh, in 2017, President Museveni refused to sign the law, um, basing on our recommendations for a good law. And uh, the law right now is being discussed in Parliament and uh, our, our recommendations have been accepted by members of Parliament. Uh, we've made a significant contribution to the development of policies, laws and regulations uh, relating to natural resource uh, governance uh, in this country. We've made a significant contribution to the laws that uh, relate to the development of oil and gas in this country. We've made a contribution to the development of uh, the laws and policies in the mining sector, land, and other related uh, natural resources. The Local Government Council Scorecard Initiative has also done amazingly well in improving service delivery and leadership accountability in the 33 districts it was conducted. So basically the initiative focuses on um, assessing the, first of all, deepening democracy in Uganda by assessing the performance of our local government leaders 
on an annual basis and after we do that, we share this information with the citizens so that the citizens get to know how their leaders are, are performing. In doing so, the leaders then pay attention to how they deliver on the quality of services because they know that citizens will easily make a decision about whether or not to vote them in future. So it's been through a partnership and it's really paid off. Dr. Arthur Bainomjisha, the executive director and several members of Accord staff attribute the think tank's success story to a chain of things. So Accord would not have been able to achieve much without uh, uh, strategic decisions. And one of the strategic decisions we did is to have a very strong board that, uh, that is professional, that has directed operations of Accord. The second one, as I said, is non-partisan stance. We are non-partisan, the way we do our work, and that has helped us to give us the convening power. So we are able to bring people together to discuss issues and uh, that are not partisan. The third one, as I said, is the financing that has come from our development partners, uh, including the Think Tank Initiative, the Juliet Foundation, the DGF, uh, the European Union, uh, the uh, uh, USAID, and the I and uh, UK Aid. All these have supported us to be able to do uh, a lot of work that we would not have done without their support. But we are hopeful that the quality and type of work we have produced should be able to endear us to other mechanisms of support that are available and we do call upon um, any arrangement that is available that can support the type of work that a court does to open their doors when we knock. <laughs> <laughs>